Hey there, and welcome to the third episode, or patrol, of the USS Sea Lion. Welcome back. Here we are. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we refilled on torpedoes and, uh, and ammunition at Midway. However, as I'm assigned to the uh, Asiatic fleet, I couldn't end the patrol there. So I've had to uh, come and steam down towards um, Sarabaya. Um, but, of course, um, I realise that as I get near Sarabaya, I have a submarine full of torpedoes, full of ammunition, no injured men and no damage, and that's a waste. So, rather than uh, just going straight in and ending the patrol, we're going to go and use some of these torpedoes. Um, and for that, I'm going to have to change my course. So, I'm currently around Wake Island, as Wake Island was captured by the Japanese. Now, what I was planning on doing is going south into uh, the Marshall Islands, going through there, and then coming down along the coast of whatever this place is, New Guinea, and, uh, and the Solomon Islands is where uh, there's some Japanese activity right now. So I might catch some coming in there. Um, what I figured I'd do is I would come down through uh, the Marshall Islands, past New Guinea, and uh, come down into Sorabaya. But I realised I had such good luck uh, on the uh, on the east and southeast side of the uh, South China Sea that perhaps I should actually go up through the uh, Salibis Sea and the Sulu Sea and come down the coast of Borneo into Jawa, or into the Jawa Sea, above Jawa. Um, at which point I'll probably have to um, re, uh, rebase at Fremantle. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come down here through the, uh, through the Marsh Islands and then above New Guinea, through the Salibi Sea, through the Sulu Sea and come down by Borneo and uh, come back around to Sorabaya. And hopefully that will uh, put me in position to find some good, um, to find some good targets to, uh, to sink, to use up my torpedoes, to use up my, um, my uh, deck gun shells and uh, hopefully adds to my already rather large uh, sunk shipping total. So, um, before I started this video, I came across a merchant sounding. Now, I don't know if this is friendly or not. Um, Wake Island used to be American, but has fallen to the Japanese. So, this, uh, this guy could be either, really and he is six miles away so I'm gonna go and see what he's up to and which way is he going he's going up and north so I'm gonna uh, adjust my course and it's friendly okay so we're not gonna bother with him we're just going to continue on course and then um, yeah I'll uh, let you know when we've got a uh, enemy contact Okay, so we have had a uh, report of a ship in this area. We turned around and we've got a, uh, a merchant sounding right about there. So I'm going to go ahead and follow my course and track it. And uh, it looks like we're going to go straight into it, which would be fantastic. So let's uh, mark this on the map. Round right about there. That seems reasonable. Let's go down to about here, chop it up to flank speed, hold on, what time of day is it? I'm not actually sure. Oh, actually, it's night time. Hmm, I probably could just get away with it, but what's that? That's just a star with lots and lots of lag. I don't know why it suddenly decided that it wants to lag all the time. It didn't do this for the first and second episodes. Well, it did on the second, but not on the, on the highway. Right, okay, let's go ahead and speed it up a bit and get it in there. Okay, we're on the surface and we're going to have a uh, have a bit of a duck shoot here. Get on that gun and fire. That was appalling.
That was much better. Oh, right in the bridge, and that's out of a fire. She's burning, lads, keep it up. Oh, in the rear. Let's hit something else vital. That one was a pretty appalling shot. Didn't do any major damage. Oh, hello. That hit him in the same place and he's on fire. Again. Two fires. A fire in the middle of the bridge. And there's something blows off. I love that. I love seeing things explode off ships. It's fantastic. Oh, another big fire. I like that. Oh, one more good hit and should do it. No, not on the plating. Hit something on the deck. Or hit the bridge. Oh, there goes the rear mast. Goodbye, rear mast. And she can't be, uh... Can't have much more to give, surely. That one missed. Shoot for the bridge. Yes, aim for the command deck. That will do nicely. Oh, she's going low. I think she's going down. Yeah, it does look like it. She's very low now. Yeah, she's going down. Hold fire. She's got to be going down. Yeah, there she is. What part of hold fire? I don't understand. Okay, that one's alright. It blew something up. That's good. We like that. Unmanned that gun. It's going to sink any moment now. She's just rolling over to her side. She's clearly going down. Billowing smoke. And uh, the deck's now underwater, pretty much. Just a matter of how long she's actually going to uh, hold on before admitting that she's sunk. And she's almost all the way underwater now. She's still not sunk yet. That's clearly sunk. Game doesn't seem to want to uh, allow me to get easy kills. There we go. It's pretty much di pretty much disappeared, and it's just decided that it's sunk. Oh well. What was that? I think it was a medium modern composite. Yep. Oh no, small modern composite composite freighter. Oh, the tail's on fire and exploded. That's lovely. I like that. Did it just split in half? No, I don't think so. Anyway, down she goes. Good night. And onwards. Continue to patrol. Okay, we've got another ship here. It's moving slowly, and it's coming almost directly for me. So, I'm going to set a course, and uh, hopefully intercept it. Now, the reports think it's heading in sort of that direction. And how far away am I? from it, or rather where I could intercept it. If I only intercept it up there, I'm only about three miles away. So I'll go do that. Okay, so I actually have two merchants here. I have one on there, and then one... Oop. Quickly get a periscope depth there. And I have one which is um, off my stern somewhere. And uh, I'm going to have to go and chase that one. But this one... Ooh quite high seas. Where is he? He should be around here somewhere. He should be quite close and I should be able to see him if not for these waves. Let's go take a quick look in the map room. Well, there he is. How far away is he? Oh no, he's three miles away. Perhaps not. Okay, that's a lot quicker. Uh, a lot closer. That's one mile away. I should definitely be able to see him from here. There he is. Somewhere around here. Nope, there's his wake. I can see him, and he looks fairly large, actually. I don't know if he has any guns, so I can't even see what he is right now. Somewhere around here. But, um... Not, be, not very helpful not being able to see him. He's right behind there. Looks pretty big. But again, seas. High seas. 
and uh, that's why my fuel reserve is so low. But um, we're off the coast of uh, of Borneo right now, and um, yes, yeah, so we've gone a long way from Midway, so I suppose it's uh, acceptable that we've used that much fuel. But um, let me see what this ship is. I need to see if he's got any guns on him or not. If he's got guns, I need to torpedo him. If he doesn't, I'm going to blow him out of the water with a deck gun. And come on, there's another ship that I want to go and get. There's another one to the southeast that I need to go and kill. He's moving slowly. Down, please, waves. Oh, these waves are horrible. Can't see a thing. Come on. Get out of the way. Caught a tiny glimpse of the back end there, but not enough to be able to actually see anything. I need like a couple of seconds to be able to see the back end properly. Move wave, please. Ah, that was a pretty good look. I think this is a large one. But, um... I can't be sure it doesn't have guns. It may well have guns, I don't know. I know you're here somewhere. But I can't see your back end. Let me see you properly. I don't think that's got guns on it. Shall I take a risk? Well, risks have been paying off for me so far. And the question is, do I want to take a risk at this range? Hmm, not really. But I don't think he has any guns. So we'll see, I guess. No, I'm pretty certain he doesn't have any... At least not any decent guns. I'm going to go up and uh, attack him on the surface. Yeah, he definitely has no guns. He's quite large, though. Not sure how large he actually is, but it um, doesn't look like he has any guns. He should have fired by now if he did. He might have AA guns, but AA guns aren't much, much worry for me. So, um, yeah, we'll just carry on with this. Um, gunner. Look, fire. Oh, haven't manned the deck gun. What an idiot I am. Well, anyway, at least we know he definitely doesn't have any guns. Oh, right below the waterline. Fantastic shot. That one was not so much. Oh, slightly above, but still, it's a hit. A hit is good. Better than a miss. I'm going to try and work out what this thing is. I want my... Oh, I've got to actually look through the scope to be able to see the book. That's a bit stupid. Right then, merchants. What is he? He's got four masts. Is that him? Possibly. Yep, that looks like him. He's a large bottom composite freighter. Fair enough. That's pretty good. Actually, hold on. What, what was his tonnage? Oh, 7,000 tons. Pretty good. I like that. Back to the bridge. Look at all those holes around his midsection there. That's pretty good. Oh, that actually hit him. That was good. below the waterline and out to the other side apparently. Interesting. 
and that got him right on the end of the right on the nose there on the stair not the stair on the, uh, on the bow so did that one but didn't do any damage Oh, we've got a fire. We've got a big fire. I like big fires. Big fires are good signs. Especially when he's starting to list like that. He's taking a hell of a lot of damage in the middle. Enemy unit destroyed. Excellent. Oh, boom. And he snapped in half. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. B E A U T F O L, love it. Sink, baby, sink. Lovely. Right, no time to be standing around here. We've got another ship to catch. Okay, we found him. He's pretty much right ahead of us. And that's pretty much where I thought he was going to be. I'm going to uh, go ahead and tail him. And uh, I don't know how far away he is. Oh, he's right there. Periscope, quickly. Grab this. Right then, periscope. Periscope, where is he? Should be over here somewhere. He can't even see me in these high seas. And I can't see him. I don't think I've got any chance of seeing him at all, to be honest. I'm just going to surface and risk it. So let's find out what he is, and where he is. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's quite big, but I don't think he's got any guns. This is about the right course, too. Go out over there. Yep, he definitely has no guns. That's excellent. Go to the bridge. Where is he? Should be over here somewhere. There he is. Yes, excellent. Now right, let's turn right. And man the deck gun. Not sure what he is. I'll find out in a minute. Once I've got a good course with him. That's about right. Let's go back down to two thirds. I can't be wasting my fuel. Oh yeah, that's a fairly good parallel course. He definitely doesn't have any guns or he'd be shooting by now. Yeah. Now let's see. Back to the periscope, which is still up actually, so I need to sort that one out. Anyway, lock him up. Let's see, what is he? He's not another one of these. He's got a taller stack. This could be him. Yep, that looks about right. He's a large old split freighter. Fair enough, I'll have him put the periscope back down while I remember and the last one we sunk was a large modern composite freighter yep that's exactly what I thought it was okay so let's go ahead and put this baby to rest he's definitely hitting her but she's a, uh, a big beast and she's not going to go down too easily oh right in the bridge that can't have felt good for the captain. But we're putting holes all along it, which is fantastic. Oh, another one, just above the waterline there. And in heavy seas, that's not good. Well, the seas aren't actually that heavy right now. They're a bit choppy. They're not too bad. That one was a complete miss and terrible. Oh, hello, he's got a fire starting in the middle there. That's good. You can see how choppy the uh, the waves are because of the way my binoculars are moving around. I mean, I'm not moving the mouse now to correct it. And that's how bad it is. So, yeah. But, um, this gunner's doing quite well. He's on fire. And, um, he's not listing or anything yet. But, um, there's still time. Plenty of time. Come on, Gunner. You can do better than this. Ooh, that's right above her stern. I'm going to straighten out. Ooh, Ella, she's on fire at the front now. That's good. This fire is spreading. 
Which means if I left her alone she'd probably go down on her own, but yeah. Now the bridge is on fire, she can't have much longer. Enemy unit destroyed. Boom. Look at all those katanas going flying into the water. No katanas for you today. Oh, the back's got a really big fire now. I want to see if she like properly explodes like the last one did. I'm curious what she was actually carrying. I mean, obviously she's carrying katanas because all all Japanese ships carry katanas, boxes and boxes of them. But um, wondering what her her uh, secondary cargo was, obviously. And down by the rear, that's a beautiful sight. Oh, and we've got uh, cargo coming up. I wish we'd go pick that up and see what they've got. I mean, they must have something that we could use in there, like more ammunition or or more food or, I don't know, clothes or something. I mean, I'm sure these guys must get bored of having the same clothes day in, day out. Anyway, uh, we've sunk those two, so back to course at two-thirds. And um, we are right now just above uh, New Guinea. Yeah, there we go. To the north of New Guinea. So we sunk one ship there. That's the first ship we sunk. And then we sunk the one that's in front of this one, and then that one. So that was pretty good. So yeah, return to course, and because um, we went, we came from Midway, we came down to uh, Wake Island here, that's right there, sort of disappearing. We came down through the Marsh Islands and there was no Japanese activity there at all. There was some um, American merchants, but nothing much there. Then we came down past Solomon Islands, and there was more, um, more American uh, shipping there. There was also some Japanese planes, but I wasn't going to bother with any Japanese planes. Then we come up here, and um, now you're up to date. So yeah, we'll continue and uh, see you when something happens. Okay, we've got a merchant contact, not far away from where we just were. Sort of half distance, well, more like a third of the distance between the first sinking and the second sinking. And uh, this guy actually popped up on uh, on the the map beforehand. Uh, he was reported by someone else, and um, we found him. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change course and intercept him. Right then. Don't know how far away he is. Uh, about that far. That's fine. I'm going to stop here. Okay, periscope up. Because he is coming right across my bow. And all I had to do was stop. So he's about about a mile away, maybe a little over a nautical mile away he's over in this direction somewhere if I can see him past the waves which I probably can't he must be over here somewhere, I don't see him or is that him? or her, technically, as it should be that's on the other side must be over there somewhere, I don't see him oh, I'm going to look at the map again Well. He's reported is coming straight towards me here, which is interesting. Let's see. He should be well within visual range now. Give me the ruler. He's only half a mile away. I must be able to see him by now. Not for these high seas. Where is he? It's like the invisible ship. Oh, blimey, he's right there. Right, what is he? He is small and has no guns. He's going down. To the bridge. And there he is. Man the deck gun. And there he is. He's a small old split freighter, I think. Let's put this back up so I can have a look. He is, where is he? He's there. Lock him up. He is small. Oh, hello. I'm going to reverse a bit. He's got his anti-aircraft gun on me. Let's see. Oh, is he that one? I don't think he is. Could be. No, he's not. Oh, but that's also the right kind of stack. Oh, that could be him. He could be a medium composite freighter. Hmm. Not bothered. Doesn't have a, uh, a deck gun, so that's fine. He had an anti-aircraft gun, but 
really that doesn't worry me in the slightest. A uh, anti-aircraft gun will do zero damage to me. Look at the size of that hole in the back end. Oh blimey. Now that's fantastic. You're being shot. Ooh! Big explosion in the rear end there. That's not something you want to hear after you've just had lunch. Oh, another big explosion there. Well, big impact at least. Not so much an explosion, but a big impact. And he's, uh... He's moving past me now, but that's okay. His rear gun is trying to shoot at me, but failing miserably. We're under attack, but that's just from his, uh... From his anti-aircraft gun. And I don't particularly care about that. I'm going to put it into one-third reverse. That's another big hit in the middle. Still no fires yet. But, um... Oh, that was a big one there. But, uh, he should have a few holes beneath the water line now. He should be starting to fill up a little bit. And that's never good for his, uh... His crew or his ship. And he's firing off into the sky because he's got a terrible gunner. And these Japanese merchants, they can't shoot for shit. So, um... Yeah, apparently up in the sky. Oh, big explosion. She's got to be nearly done now, surely. Big explosion, lots of fire. Fire everywhere. Boom! Enemy unit destroyed. Look at that. That firecrackers. Boom. That is lovely. Right, I'm going to go ahead and go back to course. Two thirds ahead. Make it so, Mr. Sulu. Down she goes. Of course, this is where I like go straight into the uh, the sinking ship and like damage my entire ship. But oh well, down she goes. Now we can. We're not even going to go any near, anywhere near her. That's fine. Goodbye. Right then, onwards. Okay, we've got a merchant sounding, almost dead ahead. I think they're coming straight towards us. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down time, obviously. And I'm going to change course. I'm going to go over here. That's what I'm actually going to do. So I'm going to go one third that way. In fact, I think he's going to pass in front of me. So what I'm going to do is just stop there. And let's see where he goes. Oh, no, he knows we're here, because I forgot to go to periscope depth. Or did I? No, I didn't. He just knew I was here, because I have my periscope up. Clever me. Clever, clever me. Right then, where is he? What is he? He's not shooting at me, so... He can't be anything that's a huge threat. Oh, he's just another one of those. Okay, we'll have him. Deck gunner, go! Now, reverse. Reverse one third, and turn... Left. Yes, turn left at the back of my boat. I think so. Anyway, deck gunner, get firing. Okay, I can. I, I swear I only heard one shot, but he's got lots of holes in his front. Hmm. Guess I must be mistaken. Anyway, he's got quite a lot of holes down that side now, and that's fantastic. Oh, right on the water line, that one. That will drag him down some. Right on the bow as well, so that'll be rushing water into the front. That's fantastic. But uh, it's a bit choppy, as you can see from my binoculars going all over the place. Because without me uh, manually adjusting them, we wouldn't even probably still be looking at this guy. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to pound away with our, uh, with our gun here. Going ahead one third. And let's see if we can take this guy down.
Have I still got my periscope up? No. Okay, fine. I think this guy is a medium... medium modern, but I'm not sure. That's my guess. He's still not even on fire yet. He's taken a lot of rounds. In fact, I'm not even sure how many rounds we've got left in the gun now. It might not be too many. Or at least we might be running up high explosive rounds at least. That's what the gunner seems to prefer. And that shot went all the way through. That was brutal. Another one in the rear. Oh, that was right on the engine. Right on it. Hopefully that slows him down a bit. But he's still not on fire, which is amazing to be honest. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, there's a fire. Knew it was a good hit. And that's another one. We've got a nice fire starting at the front of him there. It's another hit. And a big fire coming up at the back now. Oh yeah, three little fires there, making one big fire obviously below deck. So he's now on fire at the front and the back. He won't be going too much further. Enemy unit destroyed. Is she going to explode? Go on, explode. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh yes, he says. I like being pretty and exploding for people. Isn't that lovely? Down she goes. Is she split in half? Nah, she's in one piece, I think. No, she has split in half. I was wrong. She is in two pieces. And down she goes. That's lovely. I love seeing a, a ship split in half. It means I've done my job properly, you know? Fantastic. So. We say adieu to these uh, Japanese. And we go onwards with our patrol. Back to course. Two thirds. Onwards, first mate. Rightio, we've got another merchant. And it's not far away from the last one either. So let's mark out how far away he is. He is ten miles away. And he's coming towards me. That's good. I like that. Right. Let's mark out a course. Round about here. That looks good. Bit closer. Yeah, about there. We'll stop here and go to periscope depth. Right, he's very close now, I think. Ruler. He is just over a mile away and he's going to pass in front of me. So uh, we'll speed up time a little bit more. Here we go. Now let's, uh, yeah. Let's see what you are, my friend. Should be 330, 320 to 340-ish, I reckon. Somewhere around here. Don't see him anywhere. So he must be less than that, maybe 310. No? Ah, 300. Oh, he's American. Okay, you can go. Right, where is he? Right there. There he is. Pretty large ship, that one. Don't know where the other one is. Don't think I can see him from this range. Nah. Oh well. There's an American. Hmm. Dirty speed to you, my friend. Right then, onwards. Right, we have got a ship down here who pretty much crosses my course. And uh, he appears to be fairly close to where they've plotted him. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up. I'm going to try and find him. Must be here somewhere. I'm going to scoot down to one third. There he is. Right then, how far away is he? Back up to two thirds. He's ten miles away. And it looks like he's pretty much directly crossing my path. Yep, almost exactly, but he's going much faster than me. Why have I stopped? Didn't tell you to stop. Oh well, let's flank forward. Now then, how far away is he? Six miles, or rather, is she, as sh all ships are she. They're all feminine, apparently, for some reason. I don't quite know why. But he is, or rather she is, 
three point something miles away, so I should be able to see her. Especially in these weathers. Right, now we are in range-ish. Go ahead and start firing. I'm going to stay at flank speed for now, because I want to actually get closer. He's still too far away for an accurate shooting. Oh, hit him though. That was a nice shot. That wasn't. But the second shot was nice. Oh, that one's got to hit him. Yep. Didn't do much damage, but you know. Every shot counts. That's going to hit him in the rear. Oh, right on the waterline. Fantastic shooting. Right, I'm going to go ahead and slow down to two thirds. Another right below the waterline there. Fantastic shooting. What I've actually done is um, I've moved my uh, AA gunner into the position of my uh, assistant deck gunner. Um, because being completely wasted, um, I don't really have any intention of fighting any aircraft at any point. So having a dedicated gunner on the AA gun is a bit worthless really. I mean, there's a guy there so they can use it, but frankly it's not worth having a dedicated uh, dedicated gunner of that of that skill magnitude um, on the AA gun. I mean, it's not really any point to it. So I've moved him into the assistant deck gunner position, and that's probably why they've been a bit more accurate than uh, they were before. I say that as, uh, as they continually miss but never mind, they have been generally more accurate at longer range, they're still quite a long way away. So they're still plucking away here, putting a few holes in them I expect. Let's see if we can go left a little bit, two thirds left, and we'll see if we can uh, get a bit closer, get a better angle on here, on his flank, hopefully open up a few big holes, and um, sink him. Because this, I think, is a small modern composite because of the uh, the masts. They're fairly distinctive. Oh, his AA gun is getting involved. I'm just going to stop here. I don't want to get his AA gun any more involved than I have to. His AA gun is pretty much useless, but, you know, it might hurt one of my crew members, maybe. I don't know. I've never actually had anyone properly get hurt from it, but, you know. He is hitting me with it as well. I can hear it ricocheting. Ooh, okay, no, we don't want that all stop. We want to go back slow. Ooh, two big fires at the same time. Enemy unit destroyed. That was rather sudden. Did we hit the fuel reserves? Did we hit the ammunition? What did we do? We definitely hit something vital, but I don't know what it was. I think he's going to explode. I really do. Boom! There he goes. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just what you paid your tax dollars to see? Oh yeah, I think it is. Down she goes. That's what you get for bombing Pearl Harbor. Yeah, you may have balls to fire your plane straight into, uh, straight into the aircraft carriers or whatever was there. It wasn't aircraft carriers, was it? It was all battleships. So all the aircraft carriers were nicely out of the way. Anyway, back to course. Ah, it's actually an Australian. I think that's Australian. Yeah, because Australia is the only one... Or it could be... Um, it could be Hawaiian. So I think Hawaii and Australia are the only ones who have Union Jack in their flag. And of course it's only Union Jack when it's on a ship. If it's... Uh, it's flying on a building or something, it's the Union flag, which is interesting. I, uh, I found that out recently, I was uh, interested to find that out, but yeah. I'm not quite sure where that's from, it's either Australia or Hawaii, I'm thinking it's Australian. But um, I can't be sure, but yeah, they're very close off the, uh, off the bow there. But yeah, we're going to go and leave them be, they can get back to their, uh, to their merchanting. Okay, so I was steaming down... Uh, last time we were around around here, Salibis. Um that was the last ship we sunk up in the Salibis Sea. We came up around here through the Salibis Sea and down past Salibis. 
Um, I've just gone through the Flores Sea, and I realise I haven't shot a single torpedo. Um, seems like a waste. Um, I'm very low on fuel, as you can see down here. I've only got like 27%, but um, Sarabaya is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and swing around here, and I'm going to go through Sarabaya, pick up some more fuel, and then we're going to go and torpedo some stuff up in the uh, South China Sea, I think. Because um, to, to go through a whole whole patrol without any torpedoes being fired, well, it just seems a bit perverse to me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go straight through Sarabaya and uh, refit on the way. And then we're going to go up into the Jawa Sea. Uh, up through the Karimata Strait and back into our old hunting grounds where we found quite a few large ships. So I'm just going to make a, like a little little formation around here and then we'll uh, we'll see where we go from there. So yeah, just bring you up to date. Okay, wow. I didn't do it. <laughs> I swear I didn't do it. But um, yeah, big American ship on fire. This is Dr. Sarabaya. I didn't do it, I swear. Look, it's inside the port. Look at that. It's actually inside the dock. Look, inside. What are you doing on deck, you fool? You're wearing a top hat. What the hell? It's actually got a top hat on. Can I go any lower? No, I can't go any lower. This guy's wearing a top hat. What the hell? That's just bizarre. You're standing on a sunk ship that's halfway inside the dock wearing a top hat. Hmm. But all these guys have top hats on. What the hell? Uh, he's a single guy. He's just... Where is he? I can't even tell. It looks like there's two of them because he's, in, he's standing in the water. There two guys down there. That guy's wearing a baseball cap. I think he's wearing a baseball cap. No, he's wearing a green hard hat. Weird. But yeah. Um, that ship's screwed. I don't think that's going to float again. Um, I might want to extricate it from, you know, the wall of the dock. That would probably be a good idea. Okay, moving on. We're over there somewhere. Let's go. Okay, we've got another merchant here. Closing, moving slow. Long range. He's somewhere around there. I'm going to bring this thing down so that I can uh, get a better idea of where he's going. He's going up here. So let's go somewhere around there. No, he's going across here by the looks. Yep, that looks about right. Let's drop down to one third speed. And we'll stop right about here. That'll do. Um, periscope depth. Let's wait for him to uh, trundle along. He's behind me. Okay, that's fair enough. He can be behind me, I don't mind. How far away is he? About a mile. Okay, let's stick up the periscope. And let's see what we've got. So he's about 190 to 200 degrees, maybe. Maybe a bit more. He's only a mile away. Oh, no, he's 260. He is minuscule. I'm going to uh, go to the surface and take him out. We'll see you in a moment, my friend. Yes, sir. Right, there he is. Get on the deck gun and fire. This guy is uh, small and meaningless and easy. Easy pickings. He's probably about a thousand tons. A thousand tons ish. Yeah. About a thousand tons. I'll give him that. But that shot was not worth a thousand tons. That wasn't even worth a ton. Neither was that one. A bit better, but still rubbish. Let's try and do better, shall we? Yeah, that's much better. You actually hit him that time. That was good. Yep, that's better. Keep hitting him. I'll be happy with you. Oh, that one was right on the waterline. Now he's heading straight for me. 
which is always a bit disconcerting. And hit him on the waterline on the other side. Excellent work. And uh, we can see the sea through his hull, which is always nice. This deck gunner is uh, being rather poor today. I guess he didn't get enough sleep. Because um, that's horrible. Oh well, never mind. Keep laying shots on him. Oh, big boom. That was a great shot. Have a few more like that last one, and then uh, he'll be going down quickly. Hmm. Maybe I should be shooting for the bridge or the command deck rather than the water line. In fact, I'm going to do that. Because um, blowing them up seems to be far more effective than uh, sinking them via the water line. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try going for the, uh, for the bridge instead of the water line. And see if that helps any. Oop, that was a nice hit on the, on, the, uh, on the front deck there. And that was nowhere near the command deck. that was though. That was almost dead on. It's a shame that they won't like surrender because then you could just scuttle the ship and it'd be, it'd be ammo saving that's for sure. Oh big fire. Big big fire. I like big fires. Big fires is good. Yeah and now we're gonna go straight on now. Enemy unit destroyed. Go on explode. You know you want to. I'm going to go back to course, back to two thirds, and uh, hopefully that will take us away from the uh, collision course I had to set there, and it does. And they're still burning. Are they going to explode? I think they are. They look like they're going to explode. But I could be wrong. I could just have sunk him. I would expect him to explode with that many fires. I think he would have blown up by now if he was going to. Oh well, he's going down. That's a pretty sight. So yeah, we uh, we stopped in at Sarabaya, and uh, we grabbed more fuel, and uh, we're now steaming up towards the South China Sea. We um, we went past a task force. There was about ten ships in it. All but one of them were merchants. Uh, not merchants. Uh, were were warships. Only one was a merchant, and um, I wasn't going to go ahead and mess with him. That flag is still there. Is it low? Is that shallow water? Must be. Because this flag is still above the water level. Oh well. So yeah, we ran into a task force and uh, I didn't want to mess with them. So um, I didn't. So yeah, uh, I'll see you when there's more to see. Okay, we've got another ship on the same... Well, pretty much the same course as the last one, I think. And uh, it's headed for sort of the same destination as the last one. So, I'm going to go ahead and move down here. There he is, we've got contact with him. I'm going to go ahead and go to periscope depth here. And I'm going to slow down and stop, actually. Oh, he's behind me now, that was my bad. Oh, or is he? No, I think he's actually almost directly on top of me. Let's put up the, uh, the periscope and see just how badly I made that go wrong. Where is he? He should be almost 90 degrees. What is he? He's definitely Japanese. He's definitely small. I'm going to reverse and surface because I don't think he has any uh, any guns on him. There we go. To the bridge. We're reversing. Man the deck gun. I could have made a mistake here. He looks angry. But we'll see. That is it. Aim for the... Uh, Aim for the command deck. That seems to be more effective than aiming for the water line, so we'll do that. I'm going to stop, because he seems to be turning along with me, so um, I'm just going to stop. And uh, he's not firing at me, so he doesn't have any guns, so that's good. Why are you not firing? Why have you unmanned the deck gun? Get back on the deck gun, please. 
Now fire at him. Keep shooting. Thank you. I'd prefer it if you actually hit him, but at least you're shooting. Is that a gun on the back? That actually is a gun on the back. I think it's an anti-aircraft gun though. He's not shooting at me from it, so it must be an anti-aircraft gun of some kind. Ooh, boom. I thought that missed, but actually did hit him. Not sure why he's strafing again. Because, I mean, he knows exactly where I am. Strafing isn't going to help. And he's, like, nowhere near where my torpedoes could shoot. Oh, that one nearly hit me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and back emergency from here. Um, those bullets were a touch close. Oh no, he's on fire now, I'm not going to bother. Good work, gunner. Oh, boom, there he goes. That's a big explosion. Don't think he hit me, though. He could have hit me. That was um, dangerous and stupid. But um, no, he didn't hit me, so that's fine. He was a medium European composite freighter. Fair enough. We'll send a report of that. Oh, hello. Deploy to the South China Sea and engage merchant shipping. Okay, they, they've given me a new task. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Um, fair enough. Fine. That's what I was doing anyway. We'll just carry on then, shall we? That works for me.